Welcome back. This video is about auto scaling group scaling policies. Dynamic scaling helps scale the capacity of your auto scaling group as traffic changes occur. Amazon EC2 auto scaling supports simple scaling, target tracking scaling, and step scaling. Now let's start with simple scaling. Simple scaling relies on a metric such as CPU utilization for scaling. For example, you can set a CloudWatch alarm to add 20% more capacity to your auto scaling group by launching new instances when the CPU utilization threshold crosses 70%. On the same token, you can also set a CloudWatch alarm to remove 20% of its capacity by terminating EC2 instances when the CPU utilization threshold goes below 30%. In simple scaling, when a scaling event happens, the policy must wait for the health checks and cooldown to complete. Then it can respond to any additional alarm. This can cause a delay in increasing capacity, especially when a sudden surge of traffic on your application. This was the first scaling policy when EC2 auto scaling was first introduced. It does not provide any fine-grained control to scaling in and scaling out. Now let's talk about target tracking scaling. In the target tracking policy, you specify scaling metric and metric value, and the target tracking policy makes sure your auto scaling group maintains that metric value at all times. Let's say you want your auto scaling group always maintain an average CPU utilization of 70%. In that case, when CloudWatch detects that the average CPU utilization is over 70%, it will trigger your target tracking policy to scale out the auto scaling group to meet the target average CPU utilization. And when the average CPU utilization goes below 70%, a scale out event will trigger to execute to reduce the number of instances from your auto scaling group. With the target tracking policy, your auto scaling group will maintain the scaling metric you define. In other words, it will add and remove desired instances as needed to maintain the target metric. As an analogy, it works similar to how the thermostat maintains your home's temperature. You select a temperature, and the thermostat does the rest. Auto scaling group scales out proportionally to the metric as quickly as it can, but scales in a more gradual manner. You can use ADWS predefined metrics where you can use other available CloudWatch metrics. These are some predefined metric. ASG average CPU utilization, which is the average CPU utilization of the auto scaling group. ASG average network, in which is the average number of bytes received on all network interfaces by the auto scaling group. ASG average network out, which is the average number of bytes sent out on all network interfaces by the auto scaling group. ALB request count per target, which is the number of requests completed per target in the target group if the auto scaling group is associated with an ALB target group. Now let's talk about step scaling. In step scaling, you can increase and decrease the group's current capacity based on a set of scaling adjustments known as step adjustments. It is an improvement over simple scaling. For example, as we discussed, when a scaling event happens in simple scaling, the policy must wait for the health checks and cooldown to complete. Then, it can respond to any additional alarm this can cause a delay in increasing capacity, especially when a sudden surge of traffic on your application. However, with step scaling, the policy can continue to respond to additional alarms, even in the middle of a scaling event. Let's understand the step scaling with an example. In this example, the auto scaling group maintains its capacity when the CPU utilization is between 50% and 70%. When the CPU utilization is greater than or equal to 70%, but less than 80%, the auto scaling group increases its capacity by adding 10% more. When the utilization is greater than 80%, another step in scaling is done, and the capacity is increased by an additional 30%. On the other hand, when the overall CPU utilization is less than or equal to 50%, but greater than 40%, the auto scaling group decreases the capacity by 10%. And if utilization further goes down below 40%, the auto scaling group takes out 30% of the current capacity. As you can notice, this effectively provides multiple steps in scaling policies that can be used to fine-tune your auto-scaling group response to dynamically changing workloads. Let's look into what the default is when a new auto-scaling group starts without any scaling policy. By default, a new auto-scaling group starts without any scaling policy. When you use an auto-scaling group without any form of dynamic scaling, for example, simple target or step scaling, the auto-scaling group doesn't scale independently unless you set up scheduled scaling or predictive scaling. You can also use scheduled actions in scenarios where you anticipate a scaling based on known usage patterns, for example, 
increasing minimum capacity to 12 at 7 p.m. on Fridays. Predictive scaling continuously forecasts load and schedule scaling ahead based on the generated prediction. Let's talk about cooldown and simple scaling. In simple scaling, after a scaling activity happens, there is a cooldown period. The default is 300 seconds. During the cooldown period, the auto scaling group will not launch or terminate additional instances to allow for metrics to stabilize. The cooldown period intends to prevent an auto scaling group from launching or terminating additional instances before the effects of previous activities are visible. As a best practice, AWS recommends not using simple scaling policies and scaling cooldowns. In most cases, a target tracking scaling policy or a step scaling policy is better for scaling performance. For a scaling policy that changes the size of your auto scaling group proportionally as the value of the scaling metric decreases or increases, AWS recommends target tracking over either simple scaling or step scaling. Now finally, let's look into a few good metrics to scale on. CPU utilization, which is average CPU utilization across your instances. Request count per target, which is to make sure the number of requests per EC2 instance is stable. Average network in-out, if your application is network bound, for example, around two megabyte per second. I hope you got a good understanding about various EC2 auto scaling policies. Mm -hmm.